Cordovan by Banana Republic reminds me of Creed Tambourone. It's like a woody fragrance with green notes. Longevity is average. Next fragrance for women is called Pure Vanilla, the healthy fragrance. It's got real Madagascarian vanilla alongside some creamy tonka and a splash of patchouli. Very good longevity, very sexy ingredients. Next one is called 2022's Impact Spark. This is by Tommy Hilfiger. It's a green basil fragrance that reminds me of Armani O Cedra. Same type of upscale fruity wood fragrance. Not bad. The next fragrance is called La Tapa Hayati, which can remind you of Invictus or stuff like Rasasi Hawas, which is hard to find. Does give you lots of longevity and got some nice fruit notes in there. And you're sure to love this fragrance too for your wife. It's called Ariana Grande. God is a woman. Basically, it's a delicious candied pear, slightly rose fruity fragrance that lasts a decent amount of time. Very easy to wear. If you see this, you can get her that. It's a comfortable, anyone, any age can wear this. Comes out like that, has a batch coat on the bottom. Another fragrance I found is called Invictus Victory, which got lemon and vanilla, and I just love it. The longevity is awesome. It can remind you of Paco Rabanne Pure Excess, but it's better. The next thing I found is called Yves Saint Laurent Wide Deodorant Stick. You could stick that right here and stick it up. Here's a bonus for you. Bond number nine to Hamptons with citruses, lime blossom, musk, saffron, and Turkish rose. A delicious citrus fragrance that came out in 2005. Gives you a huge scent trail and very good longevity. You're sure to get compliments with it. It's very upscale and delicious. Police to be queen for women, which smells like Miss Dior Sherry. Nice fruity floral, long lasting, great little hidden gem. Police to be sweet came out in 2020. This is a newer release. Kind of smells like La Vie Bella. It does have a caramel toffee note along with vanilla and patchouli and very good long lasting for the money. Both of these are great little hidden gems for women. 2021 Derby Clubhouse Intense came out. They're trying to be like Dior Sauvage on a budget. It's got average longevity. It's an eau de parfum concentration. You've got bergamot, citruses, a little bit of vanilla in the base, touch of amber, some patchouli, some spicy notes. Basically, stay away from it. The next fragrance is pretty cool. It's Hikari Band Glacial Essence. Came out in 2021 with juniper berries, ginger, geranium, sandalwood, orris root, artemisia, clearwood musk, and cedar. Very easy to wear fragrance that just smells awesome. Kind of reminds you of 212. It was created by Alberto Morias, who created 212 to give you an idea of the vein that it's in, and I do recommend you get this. La Tapa Black Mahir, an insanely long-lasting woody, amber, smoky, leathery, powdery fragrance. It includes cade oil, which gives it that smoke in there. It's got some patchouli. They're interesting, complex notes. It just sets you apart from everyone else. If you want something that lasts long, level two for sure. Not for everyone, only for people who want a strong, ambery, leathery fragrance. Get La Tapa Mahir. It smells extremely expensive. Then you have this one called Rams La Tapa. It's a 9 p.m. Ultramaro wannabe. I wouldn't pay more than 25 for this, and I see it floating around the 35, 40 zone. But basically, you have your citrus, your mint, and your vanilla, which is just like ultra male. The next fragrance I'm gonna show you is right here on this button. 